All right, folks, we're here at Wolf Creek Park in Wolf Creek, Oregon. It's right on I-5, literally one minute off of I-5. Here we have a camp host, and I'm not sure how many campsites there are, but for the most part, they're all very similar. There's a stretch of them, three or four that are up against the creek, and the creek is a loose term because during the summer it definitely dries up, but there's some little wading pools for dogs. Uh, maybe you want to do a little gold panning. We did some and it was actually pretty nice. You got big giant cedars, a few ponderosa pine, dug fir, big leaf maple, all creates a nice cover. So it keeps you shaded. It's 106 today. So summertime it can get really warm, but it's it's nice and cool under the canopy of the trees now there's not a lot of protection between sites a lot of privacy uh, this is actually a day use area they've got the river dammed so that it creates a little pool but it's pretty green and slimy this time of year this is uh, early August there's a little playground for just dinking around it's it's an old and tired camp it's a nice place if you just want to rest, if you just kids want to get out and just stretch, run around, it is kid friendly. Now, this is the creek over here that you're looking at right now. It's off over there. And you can get down to it. There's poison oak everywhere. We did not see any rattlesnakes or anything like that, although this is rattlesnake country. Here you got a larger camper RV so you can get them in here it's you know if that's what you want it's got electricity it's got water potable water we stayed two nights three days and it was great it was very peaceful there's almost nobody here it was the middle of the week it was not a weekend the camp host was really friendly he said they haven't had any issues with thievery or break-ins we left our stuff here all day didn't have any issues and there is one large group campsite, which is this one right here. It's back in there a little bit. Pit toilets were a little rough. I mean, they're, they're pit toilets, but uh, you know, they're older. This park's been around for a while. And if you are looking for a spot just to spend the night and jump back on the road, this would do great. We ourselves just kind of wanted a little different type of uh, camping experience rather than going up into the mountains. We wanted to uh, kind of look at the gold country around here. There's a ghost town just five minutes down the road, Golden. We got another video clip that talks about that. Uh, we just didn't have any problems. Oh, there's some wild turkeys out in the field. Turkey. Now, obviously, at one point, this was uh quite the camping spot for the town or the the park for the town and it is right in town it's actually like just a couple blocks from the library it's not much of a town two gas stations and a tiny little general store but as you can see wildlife's kind of taken over the old field but uh yeah we enjoyed it it's a good little visit good place oh. Running water, yes, running water, electricity, and uh, you're just a second from town. Like I said, you could run in. We got ice, paid four bucks for a bundle of firewood, and voila, we had ourselves a great visit. And it's kind of creepy because the, the swing goes crazy. It is an older, so there's, looks like a disposable site for RV sewage. And it is an older camp, and it is an older parking spot, or park, but it did not stop us from having a good time. So if I had to give it a zero out of 10, 10 being good and zero being bad, I'd say it's about a 6.5. Might even give it a little higher, maybe a seven, just because we were the only people here. We had the place to ourselves. That was really nice. And that's kind of hard to beat. Is that it?